Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general love reading for October. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. Alright, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Alright, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. Alright, so Virgo, let's start your reading. Alright, so this is this is someone that you've already developed. You're showing up as the two um, Virgo, which talks about a strong emotional connection. So you've already formed a strong emotional connection with this person. And they're kind of showing up as the ace, not, not so much different from you in terms of just how, you know, ace talks about an opportunity to create something new. So they're definitely seeing this as an opportunity to create something new. It feels like there's some form of communication in the past. Maybe you express to them your interest in terms of just turning this into something substantial or something more committed. Uh, a lot of passion, a lot of desire that you have there. There is acknowledgement from them uh, just in terms of what you've brought into their life. They've got the sun card there. So there's some form of positive impact. Uh, and that could be anything. That could be just within their self. That could be internally. That could be externally. But some form of positive impact that you've had on them, that they recognize uh, on their life and on them in some way, shape or form. But they do have that Hermit card, which talks about processing, analyzing, digesting. And the reason why I point to that is because we also have that Seven of Swords, which talks about doing things behind the scenes. So I'm not sure whether you're privy to this person's situation prior to this or just kind of the details of their life. But it seems like they're having to move behind the scenes in some way, shape or form when it comes to just dealing with you, communicating with you. I feel like there's another uh, possible maybe setup that they've got going on um, there. I will pull on that. Uh, it could be anything though. It could be, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can shed light on that. But definitely moving behind the scenes, feeling the need to uh, be sneaky in, in some way, shape or form. Uh, we've got the, uh -huh. this person, because they're seeing you as an opportunity for, for love, for, because we do have that justice card there. It's not really shedding light on what they're moving away from, but they're definitely moving away from something. For some of you, you already know what it is that they're moving away from, but they're, they're, they're thinking about love. We've got the Ace of Cups, which talks about love. We've got the Ten of Cups, which talks about emotional fulfillment. And we've got the Temperance, which talks about, you know, putting balance into something. I feel like this person's situation, maybe they were stuck in a marriage or stuck in a long-term relationship or situation that just wasn't, it's like they was just there, maybe just operating, um, but not really there, if that if that makes sense. Um, because we do have that justice card. They feel like justice is being served when it comes to, and I know that it's regarding this relationship, when it comes to you, maybe entering into their life. There's something that you provide to this person that they've lacked. That's what it is. There's something that you've provided, because look at that sun as well. Uh, there's something that you've provided to this person that they didn't have, that they lacked, that they was yearning for, that they, yeah, they just they just didn't have. Uh, that's really highlighted within this spread. Um, for you, like I said, you've already kind of developed an emotional connection. And in the mix of developing that, you're seeing this as something that, you know, is a good thing. We've got victory, success there. There's emotional happiness there for you. So you're kind of, emotionally happy about how things are, where things are. Like I said, I don't feel like a lot of you are privy to what this person has going on in their, their life. Your focus is really on moving this ahead, you know, moving this ahead, knowing that it's, you know, 
there is some acknowledgement or feeling or inkling that things are not moving ahead as it should or qu as quick as it should or something's hold there's a hold up in some way uh, which you're going to want to communicate maybe you're thinking about communicating and touching base with this person you feel like it's going to go successful in terms of just that communication I don't feel like it's something you're worried about but there's what you're picking up or what you're starting to pick up or what that is is this person's hold up and we do have that three of swords three of swords but three of wands which talks about having made a decision. So the two is about making a decision and the three is now about waiting for the green light to be able to move ahead. So this person wants to move ahead, but there's something that's keeping them stuck or something that's keeping them... I don't want to use the word stuck. But it kind of is stuck. It is kind of stuck, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it's stuck doesn't feel like the right word to use. It's um, a hold up. Yeah, yeah, if that even makes a difference. But yeah, so definitely this person wants to... My, my thing is for this is, you know, this is how I kind of, you know, try and look at things on occasions. My thing with, with this is, is, you know, if I don't feel like this person has shared or communicated this with you, their situation with you, what their, you know, what this other setup is, we do have, yes, we do have that. Uh, hermit card again on top of the yeah, because I wanted to clarify that see what was coming up see as to why this person hadn't communicated that to you because the, because then now we're touching on trust but we do have this emotional connection that they have formed with you so it's similar to yourself and they don't want to lose this so that's why they as well as just them being where they're at not knowing how you'll take this or take their situation or yeah, it really kind of just boils down to them not wanting to lose this. My thing about this, though, is, um, Virgo, <clears throat> is cultivating trust. It's like, you know, if we start off on this foot, then where do we go from here? Is it okay to keep things from me? Is it okay to... Again, I want to stress that I don't feel like this person is doing it in a vindictive way. Um, maybe it could simply be just the timing of the relationship maybe we're now in a realization of okay I want to take this person serious or this person pulls certain strings within me that actually make me want to look at this person a lot closer hence why I haven't shared this with them because prior to that I wasn't quite sure it could be that but my point is is that we don't want to get too carried away with allowing someone to not be honest with what's going on for them because then that just breeds dishonesty within a relationship um so i'm glad that you've got this communication card here if this is resonating with you include and i'm trying to kind of see how you could bring it up to this person or bring up yeah well you're going to bring up what's holding the relationship up why they've been dragging their feet or why um and it's not so much why because it's not something that's really standing out to you just yet it's just kind of you're acknowledging it so to speak but I feel like there definitely needs to be some communication about what's going on with this person what they're moving away from what they're leaving behind what they're needing to save a ties with in order for them to move ahead with you and that needs to be put on the table from now you don't want to breed dishonesty because yeah we can we all know where that can lead so that's my advice for you when it comes to this spread, guys, is, um, you know, cultivate a safe space for this person to, or for you to approach this person about what's going on for them. Because there is love here and not for the other person or other thing or whatever it is that they're moving away from. But for you, this potential of love, let's say that for some of you, you're kind of already in that space, but definitely the potential of it. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. <laughs> um, usually at this point guys I you know kind of look and see what questions need to be answered and then I answer those and pull some cards on part two of the reading which I will be implementing in the next few weeks so look out for that other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and I shall see you next week